email marketing dying? Well, we're going to find out today, thanks to my guest, Tamsin Fox Davies, coming to us all the way from a boat in London, England. Tamsin, thank you so much for being on the show today. Hi, Chrissy, and thank you for having me. Yep, this is um, my office in my boat, uh, which is where I live with my husband, in, right in the middle of London. It's great. I, I, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. Before we started, I, I asked the question, is that a, are you on a boat? I, I couldn't believe it. You are so lucky. That's so amazing. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So yeah, Tamsin, I, I love it. <laughs> so Tamsin, is there a delay when I speak? Oh, a very small one, very but small. I'll, I'll just try and. Perfect. No, it's, it's uh, important to, for me to know because that way uh, I won't be speaking on top of you so the audience can actually uh, hear your answers. So, um, Tamsin, you are a small business marketing expert. Did I get that right or did I miss something? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I, I, I specialize in working with small businesses because that's what I've always done. So, you know, if you had a $50,000 advertising campaign that you wanted some help with running, then that's not my thing. But if you're, you know, if you've got just a few people in your business, if you're doing a lot of marketing yourself, then that's where I can help to, um, you know, to really just share what I've learned through my journey doing this exactly the same thing, how to do it better, faster, more professionally, and always cheaper, always. And no doubt you have more and more clients because small businesses are popping up uh, all over in the Western world, especially uh, considering that a lot of uh, big big businesses are laying off a lot of people and people are starting on uh, starting up their own businesses yeah I'm seeing a lot of that at the moment um, people have been made redundant or have taken voluntary redundancy and um, and they've gone into business for themselves and it seems like there's just more and more people doing it I, in terms of um, you know how available the information is I don't think that in, in terms of how you're going to do that I don't think there's ever been a better time um, mm -hmm. especially you know Things, things like your, um, you know, your site, all your interviews online, all of that kind of stuff. It's just this is the thing. These are the things that entrepreneurs need, and um, yeah, I'm seeing more of them every day. It's great. Well, thank you so much, and and if people like you make this show much easier and bringing great information to the public is my goal and my mission. So, um, at the beginning of the show, I asked the question: Is email marketing dying? I mean, it seems that, you know, all the gurus are sending you a, an email every other week. You know, this is dying, that is dying. Lately, it's like, oh, email marketing doesn't work. What's your opinion as an expert? Well, I think that's, um, I think that's a very good point, actually, because, you know, those gurus are sending you an email every other week telling you that email marketing's dying. <gasps> oh, look, they're sending you an email. <laughs> mm, I guess it must be dying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Look, so... Um, I would say that the traditional way of doing email marketing is changing. It's definitely not dying. I think um, the uh, the quality bar is being set higher and higher. You know, you've got to actually deliver much, much better stuff through your email marketing now. And it's, you know, it's got to look good. And people's attention spans are getting shorter because they, they're getting used to uh, getting so much information into their, e into their email inbox. Um, and they can often be quite overwhelmed. So you've got to really make sure that your stuff is good. If it's good, you can you can do it. You don't need to kill off your email marketing campaign. Okay, and I'm sure that's relief for a lot of people watching this. <laughs> so let, let's start there. You said if it's good. So somebody watching this may think, well, I'm doing a good job. I, I think I am, but how do I know if I'm doing a good job? What would you consider a good email marketing campaign? Okay. Well, first of all, you're going to know if you're going to, if you're doing a good job because people are going to tell you and you're going to see results in your business. Okay, okay so that's the number one. That's the, the number one thing to say. But I think that there's sort of five core elements of a really good email. Okay. And first of all, it's got to be about the content. What are you actually sending people? Is it something that they want? Is it something that they're interested in seeing? Is it something that's relevant to them? Um, secondly, design. It's got to be well designed now. Um, you know, if you if you are doing your uh, email newsletters and they're all in like Comic Sans font, <laughs> that sort of pe people aren't aren't quite so accepting of that anymore. They don't want to see it looking quite so homemade. Even yes. you know, even people who are running their businesses from their kitchen table um, have the ability now to produce stuff that looks great, and yeah. that's what they want. So design is important. Um, third, I would say that imagery is the next most important thing. 
Um, so that just means really good pictures. If, you're, if you've got a big uh, banner header at the top of your email, that needs to be nice looking. And it's not just a case of getting the, the right images and having them being good quality, but also how you use them as well. So, you know, having them being a sensible size for people to actually be able to see. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I see some people who have these giant, giant images and then the text all gets squished down the bottom. And, you know, there's, there's no point in that. You want a nice balance. So imagery is very, very important. 